Welcome to Shark Farmer TV. I'm your host Rob Sharkey and I'm out here in my soybean field. Now on our farm we plant them in 30 inch rows and an acre which is about the size of a football field there's 120,000 plants per acre. And if you look down the rows, yeah that's not trash that's last year's crop which was corn. We rotate them back and forth because they benefit each other. These beans right now will actually produce nitrogen for next year's corn crop. As I do a uh, 360 here, you can see this is my house. Uh, this is my mom's house where I actually grew up. There's the lovely Mrs. Shark Farmer. And there's some construction. They're putting up wind turbines on the farm this year. Now on tonight's show, we have April Clayton. We have YouTube superstar Nick Welker. But we have the most famous thing in agriculture to date. Earl the Donkey. Enjoy the show. Twenty twenty has not been easy, right? With this COVID, the quarantine, all the bad news that seems to keep coming and coming and coming. One of the bright spots this spring was on agriculture Twitter. It was by Nate Hansen. Nate had found himself the owner of a miniature donkey <laughs> named Earl. Oh. Apparently, Nate's dad and a funeral director uh, made a bet, a drunken bet, that they couldn't get a miniature donkey. So they took the funeral van somewhere and bought a miniature donkey. And now the rest of us have Earl. <laughs> Earl is just fun. I mean, who has a donkey? I mean, usually you have a dog that do, does this stuff, but a donkey, a miniature donkey? All you can think of is Shrek, right? Little miniature beast of burden, <laughs> marrying a dragon and having horrible offspring, half donkey, half dragon type things. <laughs> Earl has gotten a ball, and Earl is having a ball with said ball until Earl didn't have a ball. <laughs> look, look at how sad he looks. Look at him. I just, I just want to hug him and say, it's okay, little donkey. It's all right. Have another ball. <laughs> oh, there we go. Earl now has a yellow ball. I don't know why this is so fascinating, but I couldn't get enough of Earl on social media this spring. It was a bright spot. It was something fun. It was something that all of us could kind of get behind and cheer. It was weird, it was funny, it was a lot better than being in quarantine. <laughs> so you go, Nate. I'm glad that whatever happened between your dad and a funeral director and a funeral van led to all of us having a little bit of happiness. <laughs> well, don't you look at this guy. I wonder if it's Mary's little lamb. Uh, at least he's not the black sheep of the family. <laughs> This sheep is possessed by Satan. I mean, what else makes a sound like this? <laughs> Let's try to find something a little less apocalyptic. I think we have a young Reuben Stuttered here. <laughs> that man had a voice of an angel. I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splendid, <laughs> the whole new world. <laughs> this video is from Jeremy Cross and his six-year-old son proving that he is the vocal goat. <laughs> uh, that's the greatest of all time, not that weird sheep that we had. God's Country is like the perfect song. I mean, this is America singing in the tractor with dad. This is the perfect video, except for that white tractor at the end. <laughs> what happens when it's Easter and COVID has all the churches closed? This is actually pretty cool. Although I don't remember John the Baptist wearing waiters. <laughs> oh my, the bus is stuck at the bottom. <laughs> the good Lord can be found anywhere. And I may be a little biased, but I think on a farm makes it easier to see his blessings. Here's what I've learned about asking for pics of spilled seed. 
People say yes, but they don't want any names attached. <laughs> this picture was posted on Twitter, and it looks expensive. The black boxes are what we call pro boxes. Now, as a rule of thumb, they hold 50 bags or bushels of seed. Now, they are a ton more convenient and a whole lot less work than bags, but when they spill, they spill. <laughs> Fill that thing up with top-end corn seed, and you could be flirting around with $20,000 worth per box, which will plant around 115 acres of corn. You can, of course, pick this up, but if you get dirt or rocks into it, you're at a minimum going to plug the planter. Probably going to cause damage. This is pretty much just a commercial for ratchet straps. <laughs> Here's another picture. Again, <laughs> with no name. <laughs> this one looks a little more uh, residential. That would be heartbreaking to see. People run over your spilt seed. I don't think corn grows on asphalt. <laughs> unless there's some new chemical I don't know about yet. This one has a name. Matt Kellogg from Illinois said his employees were hungry. Only problem is the seed didn't fit underneath the drive through <laughs> uh, Would you like fries with your yogurt, sir? <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now. Cheese curds are overrated. They always sound so good, but when you get them, they're not. Uh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> if you're going to have something besides a burger, fries. McDonald's french fries is the best thing in the world. Everybody finds cheese curds. They're like, oh, cheese curds. Look, they've got cheese curds. We need to get cheese curds. No, don't get them because they're always overdone. They're just like fried, fried, fried stuff. They're not cheese curds. Every time you get them, you're disappointed. But somehow, some restaurants with low drive throughs have, have made a career off convincing people that cheese curds are good. <laughs> Stick to the fries. This is Sammy Wang's nest from Ankeny. She spilled these beans. She spilled them when she used to work at an ag retailer. Doesn't really look like a big deal, but look how sad she is. <laughs> it's like she should be kicking the dust and going, shucks. <laughs> I'm not sure we have a name for this one either. It's funny how these folks don't want the ag community to know about their mess ups. Oh, come on. OK, thank you, Clayton. Yes, yes, this one, this one is mine. <laughs> the door wasn't completely shut, and as soon as I hit the blowers, this happens. This picture isn't interesting or funny at all. It probably should be cut from the show. Not interesting or funny at all. If you have an interesting or entertaining video or picture, and you think the world should see us, drop us a line www.sharkfarmer.com. While you're there, check out What the Farm podcast and the one that started it all, the Shark Farmer podcast. Catch me Monday through Friday at Rural Radio Sirius XM channel 147 at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 Central. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.